Hey yo, what up YouTube? This your boy Red Dev Animations in there, bad man. Like, comment, and subscribe, and share, and hit my Discord up. Link gonna be in my description and or my comments. And um, I'm a I'm gonna redo this Adventure Time review because like in my live stream that shit, oh that shit was packed. But it was like I don't know why, but my all my live stream keep lagging. So I felt like. That was a that was disrespectful on my part, and I felt like I should just make a actual video, you know what I'm saying, instead of doing a laggy ad live stream. So I'm gonna make this short, simple, sweet. This is gonna be like 10 minutes long at the most. So let me start. I'm saying this 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 takes place at first takes place a thousand years after the events of the war, from what I know, from what I've heard. I think it's descendants of. Of Finn and Jake, I don't even know, but they have, but they're similar. But Bimo is still around at the time, and what happened is uh, Bimo just tells them the story. These these two descendants somehow meet Bimo. I'm not gonna go into that. You gotta watch the episode to find out. But like they just meet Bimo. And if you wanna know the full story, go to my live stream at your own risk. And basically. Bimo just tells them about the war, which was the one that's been hyped up in the trailer. You know, the war, we it was a big turnaround. I thought we were going to see mostly candy people fighting, but nah, there was barely any fighting between them. I will say this, over the course of the whole thing, there's a lot of lives lost, but like, it wasn't because of the war. It's because Gulb came, he sensed chaos, and a portal opened up, and Gulb fat ass just came down, started infecting candy people, turning them into monsters. And the main characters, all the good people, they ended up doing their thing. Thing fighting them. They was losing because those monsters feed off of chaos. And then, you know what I'm saying? They was fucking up. You know what I'm saying? People were dying. Main characters dying. I'm not going to say who. If you want to know, watch the episode or look at my live stream. Bimo sung a song. He sung a song to Jake. The treehouse was fucked up. Sung a song. Bimo then sung a song with Drake. I mean Jake because um, Jake was sad. Bimo, let me, let me say in this song. This song ended up really eradicating a lot of uh, monsters. Apparently, it's that cliche trope. You know what I'm saying? Say, um, you battling hate creatures who are filled with hate, you use love. That was their weakness. So Princess Bubblegum, she thought, hey, let me use Bimo to have him sing the song. Boom, bam, boom, bam, boom, bam. You know I'm saying the song ended up opening a hole in gold. Now, let me backtrack a bit. What had happened before that is Finn, Simon, Marcy, a lot of personal things happened. I'm not going to talk about it much. You will know about it. You know, live stream or watch the episode. But they ended up inside Gold's body. They were going to be digested. There was no way out, but except for BMO. Bimo sung the song, and uh, you know how it went from there. He sung the song. There was an opening for all of them to leave. Finn and Simon, their Ice King, because he was Simon at the time. You know what I'm saying? Anything y'all want to know? Live stream or episode. So they all left. Betty didn't, because Betty wanted her original objective was to, you know. Defeat Gold, but the ice, the the crown which was made originally to take on wishes, it wasn't able to eliminate Gold. He was just too powerful. That's crazy as hell. He was just too powerful. So what had happened was, she just made a wish to pr to protect Simon. That was a very vague wish. She ended up turning into Gold. It was a merge. I'm gonna call her Bulb. Y'all got any other name suggestions for the fusion of Betty and Gold? Let me know in the comments down below if I even get comments. But boom, bam, ball sacks, vagina. Um, that's how it all ended. Everything started getting peaceful. The episode ended up being, for the last seven, five, seven minutes, they ended up being about um, all the characters going on with their lives and you know think of any character you see in a bit of time that had a big struggle in internal e or external they were all solved in this big time skip it's just a there was like three minutes of them 
going on with their lives in a big montage, peaceful montage. And uh, the last few minutes of the episode started coming right back to the future a thousand years later. And it was all told through BMO. And it all ended with the tree. People in the live stream told me the tree was basically fern. And I don't know, maybe it is. I don't really remember much, but like, you know what I'm saying? I was going up here memory that life. So yeah, they went on top of the tree and they did that little pose that, that Jake and Finn did in the intro. Really nostalgic stuff. Um, The tree was hella long though. The tree was hella long. If you doubt, it's been a thousand years since. Here's, here's two clues. Finn's arm was stuck I mean was buried in the ground it takes a very long time for things to get buried it takes 30 years for a tree to fully grow now imagine that tree growing all the way to like to past the clouds that takes centuries maybe thousands of years thousand years you know what I'm saying there's there's clues you gotta look at the episode if y'all missed it you know what I'm saying watch it on YouTube, anywhere y'all can, you know what I'm saying, watch it legally, and, uh, yeah, when I think about it, the episode, um, when I was watching it, I was a little disappointed, it was still pretty, it was still really good, it's just, I didn't, I just felt like the show could have ended in a more of a bang, but, you know, I'm just thankful this show ended, like, not in a bad way i just i don't like when shows i like don't have an ending this show has a lot of hiatuses but i thought it was never going to end i'm just thankful it ended on a peaceful note even though i expected more i'm just thankful the show finally wrapped itself up a lot of questions were answered but you know i can't help but feel disappointed at the episode itself I really wanted to see the Lich more. I wanted to see the Lich do something really evil. I thought he was going to show up, etc., etc. I guess he's he's gone. I don't know. Um, there was many things I wanted to resolve. I don't think we're going to see a movie. I don't think we're going to see anything like that no more. I don't want this show to get rebooted because Cartoon Player is going to turn into shit. It's going to turn to shit if it's rebooted, y'all. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's going to be shit. Shit! You know what I'm saying? It's going to be shit. You know what I'm saying? Like... It's, it's a bad idea, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think it's a good idea to reboot the show. Um, Overall, I'd get this episode. And it was an hour long, but it felt like it was like 11 minutes, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was really, really fast-paced, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, dang. But like, hey, I'll, I'll get a shit like 7.5 out of 10. You know, this would be great as a regular episode, like a special episode, but not a series finale. I'm just disappointed this is the series finale, but you know, this is my personal thoughts and opinions. If you don't like it, you could try to roast me in the comments. I'll roast your ass back, ugly ass jit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? That little bitch ass nigga in the live stream wanna talk shit. I already checked that nigga straight. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that nigga. Um. <laughs> He ain't shit, y'all. He ain't shit. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe. Watch my testing stories. Share them. Join my Discord. You know what I'm saying? You can chat with me there. You can hear a lot of things from me. You know what I'm saying? We could be doing all that. And I'm really sorry for that trash ass live stream. I did not expect to get so many people watching that. That shit was packed. The highest was like 60 people, I think. That shit was packed. I usually get like 10 views. I usually get like 10 views on that shit. You know what I'm saying? At most. But this time I shit bumped. I haven't got this much views since like February or March or whatever, man. It's been so long. Like, holy shit. If I knew I was going to get that many views on my live stream, I would have prepared it. I would have tried to make sure it wasn't going to lag that much. You know, I didn't. Because my, my, my old subscribers from like last year to a little bit this year... They're already used to the lag. I didn't think I would get this many views on my live stream itself before I even published it. When it was live, it was packed in that bit. I was like, holy shit. But hey, man, that's just how it is. Man, I love y'all. 
you know what I'm saying, do as I said before. And I'll keep making videos like this if y'all want me to. And you know what I'm saying, peace out, y'all. Fuck the haters.